this video is inspired by the public, okay? I was in the elevator and I'm looking at this kid, walks in, he's fat, as fuck, and uh, my initial reaction was to judge him, because my first response was, damn, this guy's fat as fuck. But I remembered that I have an intention to be a light force in the world and a positive influence, and so I, I sought in that moment to empathize with his position. And I asked myself, how is it possible that this guy ended up like this? And what came to mind first was that his parents probably didn't support him in becoming the person that would have a strong physique and would value that side of their life. And this got me thinking about how I would raise my children and how I will raise my children. And the, the principles and the frame of mind that I would impart on my kids as they grow up and they become uh, free thinking and uh, self-governed. And the frame that I landed on that I believe would give them the greatest opportunity and potential and self-worth would be to teach them that they are fucking superheroes. I would spend a, a relatively large amount of my time imparting on them the belief that they can be and do whatever it is that they set their mind to so long as they abide by the rules of this game. And the rules of this game are only the ones governed by universal law. Meaning that if they understand that if they put something in, they will get something back. If they value themselves and they invest in themselves, they will experience an abundance of joy and fulfillment. And with this belief, in contrast to this kid in the elevator, you wouldn't allow yourself to become fat or unhealthy or disorganized or disorderly if you believed yourself to be a superhero. Because superheroes have a responsibility. They have a task at hand that is greater than themselves. And to let yourself go and to play small and to do away with the things and responsibilities that come along with being a superhero is actually selfish. And so along with the belief that my children will be all powerful and massively uh, full of life force and potential, they will also adopt the responsibility of leaders and role models and influencers for the rest of the world, which means that they would self impart a responsibility that requires them to perform and to maintain themselves beyond just self satisfaction and um, selfish pleasures, which I believe are a great reason for why people aren't taking care of themselves. They aren't thinking about the impact of their lack of uh, dedication and self-worth on, on the people that are close to them. Because if you have a responsibility for other people and you are fat, can you really take care of them? What if something crazy happens and you have to run up a hill and you can't, or you need to run after a bus, or let's say the stroller for your kid is rolling away and you can't even run to go catch it and that kid dies in traffic. I know these are crazy um, out there scenarios, but are they really? And then even beyond that, would your family respect you and your children respect you truly if you're a fat fuck? If you were just incapable of moving the way that your body is meant to be moved? It's not acceptable in my mind to allow these things to pass and it is only taking place because of selfishness. And so that was my thought for today. I hope this resonates with you or if it does, or it doesn't, either way, this is what it is. And um, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to impart wisdoms and belief systems on a younger generation, my kids, um, that sees them becoming powerful and self-fulfilled and self-governed. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. It's gonna be very exciting. And so that was my thought for the day. Don't be selfish, you'll end up fat. See you in the next video.